Welcome back to the AutoCAD 2011 series of tutorials. In this tutorial we're going to go over the circle command. Uh, there's various different ways to define your circle and a lot of different command line options. So as we go through this tutorial and, and as a new user I'm going to recommend that you actually use the circle command off of your toolbar. Again because there is a lot of command line options and it can be kind of confusing for a new user. First of all, make sure that your dynamic input is off. I don't want those command line options showing up on your cursor or near your crosshairs because it can get kind of confusing. So uh, to start the circle command, there's a couple of different things. Uh, I can use the command line option, or excuse me, the command line alias, which is just the letter C, and hit enter. I'm going to hit escape. But again, like I said, I would rather a new user start with the uh, on the on the ribbon. If you go over here to the ribbon, your draw portion here and you go to the click on that down arrow it's going to show you the six different ways to define a circle center radius center diameter two point three point tangent tangent radius and tangent 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 and I'm going to show you how all, all of these work let's start off with center radius and as you might as expect uh, if you click on center radius AutoCAD is going to ask you to first specify the center point of your circle don't worry about these command line options because I selected center radius it's going to select the proper command line options to define a circle based on the center point and the radius so I've selected center radius now I'm, it's asking me to specify my center point I'm going to pick just somewhere arbitrarily out here in space the next thing AutoCAD is going to ask me for uh, by default is the radius notice it says specify radius of the circle now I can hit this option D for diameter but remember when I came over here to my uh, pull down, I did center radius. So I'm told AutoCAD that I want to define the radius. Uh, set up. Let me go back here. Center radius. Specify my center point. Now it's asking me for the radius of my circle. Here's the default that it's going to put in 2.0311. That came from when I was messing around here just a minute ago. I can use that value or I can type in a value. I'm going to type in a value of let's say 3. So I'm going to type in the number 3 and hit enter. Now I've just drawn a circle with the center point of right here and a radius of three. Now that circle is exactly three units or has a radius of three units because I've defined that uh, by typing it in as opposed to just picking somewhere out here in space. So whenever we can or whenever uh, possible, you always want to define your objects by typing in values or exact values. It's going to make your drawing much, much more accurate and there's, there's no reason why we wouldn't want to make our drawing as accurate as possible. So that's the radius. Now let me erase that. This time I'm going to go up here and I'm going to select center diameter. And as you might expect, if I click on center diameter, uh, you'll notice AutoCAD, first of all, it brings up, if you leave your, your mouse right there on center diameter for just a moment without moving it, it'll bring up a drawing and kind of show you an example of what it's going to be asking for. It says creates a circle using a center point and a diameter. So I'm going to click on that button and again it's going to ask me to specify the center point of my circle I'm just going to pick somewhere out here in space now this time it's asking me to specify the diameter of my circle it's giving me a default of six and the reason why it's giving me a default of six is because the last circle that I drew had a radius of three well if my radius is three as you know in geometry then that means my diameter is going to be six so it's going to use the last value that I put in which was a radius of six and uh, which equals a diameter of, of, excuse me, a radius of three, which equals a diameter of six. Now, if I wanted my diameter to be something different, again, I just type in whatever I want it to be. Let's say I wanted it to be four. I'm going to type in the value of four and hit enter. Now I have a circle, uh, which I've defined the center point, and then I've typed in or given it a value of four for the diameter. Real simple commands for drawing a circle. I'm going to erase that. This time I'm going to go over and I'm going to do two point. Now before I do that, I've already drawn a little sketch here. I'm going to be doing some things um, with picking points and panning around the drawing. Don't worry about those right now. You're going to, we're going to get into panning around drawings and viewing drawings and, and some of these other um, object snaps and things that you'll see me doing. Don't worry about those. Focus on what I'm doing and how I'm defining my circles because that's what we're talking about here. We'll get into those other things a little bit later. So this time I'm going to use... Uh, two point. What this is going to do is it's going to draw a circle with me defining two points that, that are going to be the diameter of the circle. 
So let's say, uh, let, me, let me start this command, and it's gonna say specify the center point. No, it's not. It's gonna go through here, and it's gonna pick the proper uh, command line option, and it's gonna say specify the end point of the circle's diameter. In other words, give me one point on that circle's diameter. Well, I want the end point to be the end point of this, this line right here, this arc right here, and I'm gonna use the object snap end of. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about that later. So there's one endpoint or one edge of my circle. Now the opposite edge is going to define my diameter and I'm going to pick the endpoint of this arc here. So now I've defined my circle by picking two points. Uh, one point right here and then the opposite point on my circle right here and that's giving me a diameter. I don't know what that diameter is uh, but I do know that I want it to project directly across uh, from this endpoint to this endpoint of those two arcs and that gives me that diameter right there. So that's the two points defining the diameter. The other option here that we can do is three points. Now let me pan over here. Three points is gonna have me define three points or input three points which is gonna define the outer edge of my circle. So I'm gonna go to my command, or excuse me, to my ribbon. I'm gonna go down here to three point and it's asking me, okay, specify the first point on, the, on your circle. So I'm going to type in my uh, object snap endpoint. Don't worry about that. But I'm going to say, okay, I want the endpoint of here. I want the endpoint of here. And I want the endpoint of here. So once I've defined those three points, it's going to create my circle uh, touching those three points. And it gives me a circle, no matter how close I zoom, that is exactly on that endpoint. Okay? And it touches uh, my circle at those three points. So that's using the three point option. The other option here is tangent, tangent, radius. Let me erase this, let me pan back over to this drawing here. What that's doing is I'm telling AutoCAD, okay, I want, to, I want my arc or my circle to be tangent to this circle and tangent to this circle and then I'll give you a radius. And you know, remember from geometry, a tangent is where one arc touches another arc at one point and doesn't cross. Uh, so that's tangent. Let me erase these and let's start my circle command and I'm gonna do tangent, tangent, radius. So AutoCAD's saying, okay, give me my first tangent point. Well, it's automatically gonna put in my object snap tangent. I know we haven't talked about object snaps yet, but it's gonna say, okay, define my first tangent point. So it's saying, find the tangent of your first circle, which is just somewhere over here, it doesn't matter, and then define the second tangent, or a tangent of my second circle, and I'm gonna pick right here. Now it's gonna say, define my radius, or give me, your, give me the radius. And I'm gonna use a radius of, let's say, 2.5. Now what that's done is it's drawn a circle. I don't know where the center point is, but I do know that that circle is tangent to this circle, tangent to this circle, and it has a radius of 2.5 exactly, okay? So that's tangent, tangent, radius. It's great for doing things like this, so now I can just come back in and trim off uh, the portion that I don't want, and we'll get into the trim command later, but that's what that's for, okay? Now, that's tangent, tangent, radius, and finally the last one is I'm gonna use tangent, 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 right here. So I'm gonna define three tangent points. So let's say I had three circles out here. And I want to draw a circle that is tangent to each one of these. In other words, it touches each one of these at exactly one point um, on their edge, okay? So I'm going to start my circle command using this tangent, tangent, tangent option. AutoCADs, just don't worry about this. It's coming all the way down here. It's saying, okay, specify my first point on a circle tangent to what? Well, tangent to this circle right here. So I'm going to pick. Now it's saying specify the second point. Um, on another circle and tangent to right here and my third point on another circle and I'm gonna pick somewhere here so what it's done now is it's drawn or defined a circle the circle right here exactly tangent to this circle exactly tangent to this circle and exactly tangent to this circle I don't know where my center point is and I don't know what the radius is but when I drew this circle, I didn't care. All I knew is that I wanted it tangent to those three other circles. So those are the options that you have for defining a circle. 
Now again, I recommend uh, using uh, the pull down here to define your circles until you get used to using these command line options uh, to define your circle because this can get a little bit confusing especially when you're doing the circle command. So again, use these pull downs and I think you're going to be in good shape and those are the different ways that we can define a circle.